Four likes, five likes, a jump start there for Girolami, and we are go for TCR, TCR World Tour here at Malilunga. Mendel Girolami jumping the start massively. That's compromised him as well as the penalty that will be coming his way. So Marching War has an unimpeded run into the first set of corners just behind him. John Philippi having a look as well, and Girolami for good measure goes grass tracking to the side of the circuit. So hopefully he'll get that one steadied up before hitting anything. Yes, he does. So Bebel Girolami's day has gone into nightmare territory. And there is that man, Jan Elishay as well. Jan Elishay now almost immediately striking to take our race lead from Marching Hua. Ma now covering for the fleet of Audis behind, trying to find a way past and to the inside of teammate Elishay. Elishay's on the outside of the corner, not where he needs to be. He is vulnerable, is Frenchman Jan Elishay on that part of the racetrack. Can he get back into the snake? He does so, but only just as we see Rob Huff in 179 in the Audi now. Around the outside of the Lincoln Co. He's got another one of his stable mates behind as well. A couple of cars bounce over the sausage curb as well, but nothing really worrying. Too much there at the front of the field. Marching Hua still just about in our race lead. Rob Huff now to the side of Jan Elishay and takes that position. Five second penalty for Girolami for the indiscretion off of the line. But that's the least of his concerns at this moment in time. As a really incompetent I don't want to pass one car. I want to pass two around the outside of the hairpin, but doesn't quite have enough real estate, a bit of bumping and buttering as well there, further down the running order, while the Hyundai's having a hard time of it, light contact. Jan Elishay, an opportunity in there, we see, recognises the mistake almost straight away, car just almost stalls in fact, so Girolami does well to get it back running again off the line, although positions and that five second time penalty to go with. There is Girolami to the left of your screen off. Look at the bottom of the screen as well. And Jan Elishay trying to go around the outside of his teammate. Ted Bjork in the triple one Lincoln Co machine. He's got a, a windscreen full of cars as well, as we see in Michelis and Athcona side by side as they cross the line to start the second lap of what has been a thrilling opening lap of the race. Can Michelis and Athcona get through Curva Grande side by side? Yes, they can. A little bit of gravel for good measure, both in front and during the battle. But now we see uh, Mitchell is to the inside. Ted Bjork painting himself to the rear of that Hyundai. Both Hyundais go out wide and off the racetrack. Ted Bjork, thank you very much, nips through the middle, takes the position. Marching Hua has now been left out to drive, and Rob Huff is our new race leader. So Ma having all sorts of strife, loses position to Huff. Loser's position to Jan Elishay, and now under massive pressure from John Philippi. Philippi has the favoured inside line for the quick right-hand swooper. Mars staying alongside him for now, but will the Lincoln Co. realise that he's on a hiding to nothing? Goes over the grass, keeps the foot planted. That cost Marching War a spin. Pirouette through the field. Does everybody avoid him? Yes, he does. Can Mar get a car on the brakes? Do not come back on to the racetrack. No, he doesn't, but that is a massive, massive moment of further contact. Huge contact between Santiago Arutier and John Philippi. So two accidents in one there. Philippi's the man stranded in the gravel. Arutier gets back on the track, but I think he's got terminal damage. Safety car intervention to get the come to you out of sport car of John Philippi out of that gravel and back onto the racetrack so he can go round to pit lane and into retirement for John Philippi. A real, real shame. So let's take a look at what happened here. Philippi to the inside, a little cut, sorry, Huff to the inside, little contact. This is Ted Bjork, he's a wall full of smoke. There is Mars car, around it goes. Bjork, defensive, evasive action, good driving. There we go, Huff now, very much on the accelerator. Jan Elishay going with him, but behind Frederick Berbys is very, very much in contention with the back of Jan Elishay's Lincoln Co car, Huff. A comfortable race lead further down. Do we have any dramas? Kobe Powell's looking to the rear of one of the Hyundais, but not quite close enough to make a move. A really comped on the defensive. That is Marco Booty to his outside. So comped, instead of being the attacker, is now the defender, but Booty runs out of racetrack.
straight away on the defensive as Ascona goes to the outside. Mikel Ascona, uh, Ascona looking to the outside, now looking to the inside. Will he look to the other side of the racetrack as well? No, they drag race down the straight. Ascona on the outside line, Ted Bjork as late as he dares on the brakes, gets the car in front, but Ascona pulls back again. Light contact between the two. The Spanish driver, Mikel Ascona, can he get the job done? Ted Bjork gamely hanging on to the inside line. He has the optimal line late on the brakes, a little bit of a lock on the inside wheel. Ted Bjork holds position. Jan Alishay in second place now has Frederick Furfees for company. Further down the Ted Bjork, Mikel Ascona fight continues. Ascona now and to the outside. Can the Hyundai stay with the Lincoln Co? Will Bjork give him? Racing room, Ascona to the inside now. Another kiss between the two of them. Job done. Noah Michelis gets in the inside as well. Not one Hyundai, but two, four, one. Ted Bjork lost two positions in one corner. Begins the final stages of this race in incredibly hot temperatures. The cars will be nowhere near their optimal performance. And Alcona gets sideways, rally driver style behind Verviz, manages to hold on to the car. But that was wild control from Mikel Alcona. Great driving from the Hyundai driver to stay on track and continue his fight in fourth position. Look to the front of the field. This is Rob Huff. He got the start he wanted. He used the aggression when he needed to. The lights are ablaze. Rob Huff through the final corner. Will be a winner in the Kumo TCR World Tour. TCR Italian Festival takes the checkered flag. And with it, Rob Huff is a race winner here at Vallelonga. Jan Elishay crosses the line for Frederick Verveesh. Mikel Ascona gives the position away to Norbert Michelic just at the chequered flag. It's great for Rob Hoff because those Kumo tyres powered him to a race victory. Yes, Rob Hoff, that means yeah. the absolute world team had to tell left as well as he celebrates with his team. That was a very, very professional, very strong performance for Rob Hoff, our race winner. The biggest applause of all. Trophy, the largest trophy of all as well. So he weighs that one aloft in celebration for his race victory. And of course, come to you, Audi Sport.